Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this fractal abstract painting using nothing more than gloss enamel paint and a plastic bag. So let's head over to the table and I'll show you how I made it. If you haven't seen my last video about the, uh, the lines here, uh, watch that video. So if you haven't watched that video, I still had the colors out and you know me, I like to use colors when they are available. Uh, because I don't like to put them away. Once I have them out, it uh, just takes more time. And you know what? I'm going to do a blot of thing, but we're going to add gold because you know I love gold. I love gold! So I'm going to give this gold a little, uh, little good stir here. Oh man, I just flip and love the way gold looks. I just can't explain it. It's, a little, it's like, I, I don't know. I didn't used to care, but now, now that I'm using it all the time, it's just beautiful. Okay, so we're, we're going to do a blotted painting. We've got our bag here. Fractal painting, whatever you want to call it. Let's get to painting, people. So we're going to go ahead and make a couple of uh, little pools here of each color. So we give that a good stir. We'll put some down here. And we'll put some up here, kind of opposite ends here. And we'll get our, our little gray on, put some gray there, put a little gray there, and put some towards the end. Then we've got our black and white, almost uh, almost required at this point because of, that's just, I just like balance. So we're gonna put some there, and we are gonna put our bad boy, Mr. Gold, we're gonna put that bad boy right in the middle. Maybe a little on the side, maybe a little down here. Living life on the edge, I know. And there we go, we've got it. So now we'll go ahead and take our bag, crinkle that bad boy into a little mess. I, I don't know what to call it. And we'll get to painting. So we're gonna pull this white out. We're gonna start with the lightest colors here. And then we're gonna move into the gray. And we're gonna start pulling these colors over the painting. And it's already kind of falling apart here. So we're gonna take that and pull it out. Take that, 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 pull it out. And we're just gonna keep doing this to pull these colors out into the rest of the painting. And we're gonna get these little starbursts going by picking it up and dropping it. Picking it up, 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 dropping it. going to continue this process until our whole cover, our whole painting is covered. And it's getting a little messy. So we're going to flip it over so that we got a clean surface. And we're going to move some of these colors. You got to move them around because they won't move themselves. Now we're starting to lose some of the color. Um, I feel like black is probably the one we're losing the most. So I'm actually going to fill in a little bit of area over here and over here only because uh, we need a little more variation and uh, we've got some areas where there's no paint so we're going to pull that out we're going to start pulling that black into some of these other areas for the balance okay and we're just going straight up and down we don't want to go at, at an angle because then it starts to pull the color in, uh, in weird kind of patterns and it starts to create these like starburst things we're not trying to do that okay we're just trying to get these colors to work together and we're trying to get these colors to spread out
And so when I'm doing these paintings, these fractal paintings, blotted paintings, dab paintings, whatever you want to call them, what I'm looking at is kind of the balance of the piece, right? So how balanced is it? Like there's a lot of gold right here, but there's almost none over here. So we're gonna to try to pull some of that gold out and move it to those areas where there isn't as much. All right? And so we're gonna, and then we'll kind of move our plastic here. And there's a lot of white in this area. So we're gonna move some of that out. I'm gonna try to lighten some of these edges here. That's it. I mean, it's that, uh, that simple, that easy. Take the gloves off. The gloves are coming off, baby. And let's take a look at our, our finished product here. All right, so ultimately we have a, I think a beautiful looking painting. It looks kind of like a mess when you're looking at it, but looking at it up close, we've got a lot of different movement. We've got a lot of different fractals here. And uh, we got a, I feel like a, a really good balance. We've got kind of the white moving into the, the gold with hints of black, but a lot of the gray, the gray is kind of like the, the background, but the gold I feel like comes through. We've got some pockets of white to, to really lighten up the pace. And then we've got our black kind of like a triangle here of black, which also kind of centers it. So ultimately very good piece. I'm very happy with it. I, uh, I like it a lot and uh, yeah, super easy painting that you could do at home with, you know, plastic bags and plastic, whatever. I use gloss enamel paints. I believe you could do this with acrylic. You might have to just thin it just, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Maybe try it with regular acrylic or oil first without thinning it. Kind of see how it goes because every brand of paint works a little differently. Uh, but if it isn't, uh, if it's too thick, then it just, just a micro amount, just a tiny bit and then try it and kind of move that on there. Um, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please let me know. If you didn't, that's cool. Let me know as well. And uh, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. I don't know if we'll have it by the time this video goes up, but we're actually moving a little bit quicker than normal. So I'm very, very excited, very grateful. And a new Pollock style painting at 2,000 subscribers. So just gonna throw that out there now. Uh, once we reach 2K, I've got another Pollock style painting for you guys but anyway guys hope you have a phenomenal 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 uh day night evening whatever it is and that's it so take care god bless see you in the next one stay safe and that's it bye guys